असलम माई सेल्फ सद फजल थियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट दि वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक कंटेन इंस्ट्रक्टिव एंड एजुकेशनल कंटेंट दैट इज बो शेयर वेल एंड इजी टू रिटेन सो लेट स्टार्ट माय प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक इज अबाउट जू जियोग्राफी एंड इट्स ब्रांचेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्ड इज जू जियोग्राफी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जू जियोग्राफी Zoo geography is a branch of applied science that is concerned with the geographical distribution of animal species and their attributes. As the name shows, zoo mean animal, geo mean earth, and graphy mean distribution. So, zoo geography is the distribution of animals on the earth is called zoo geography. Their habitats, their location, the region in which they live, all are discussed about in this branch of science, which is called zoo geography. Then we discuss about the history of zoo geography. The study of bird geography gained popularity with the work of Alfred Wallace in the mid to the late nineteenth century. Wallace, originally from England, was a naturalist, explorer, anthropologist, and biologist. He first extensively studied the Amazon River and the Malay Archipelago, the islands located between the mainland of Southeast Asia and Australia. Father of zoo geography. Who is the father of zoo geography? Alfred Russel Wallace was the father of zoo geography. Why we call the Wallace the father of zoo geography? His drawing of animal animal geography, father of animal geography, bird geography, co-discovered the theory of natural selection. And what is the theory of natural selection? Natural selection said the that the nature select like the organism the most fittest organism that have capability to survive in the harsh environment so nature chooses that animal the fittest animal organisms that have capacity to survive in the environment this is called the theory of natural selection and in 1854 when the valle star his voyage he proposed this theory he selected the different beetles from the different island and he said the beetles have the capacity to survive in the different island according to their environment so he proposed the theory of natural selection that's why he called the father of zoo geography next the branches of zoo geography The so geography is divided into ten following branches: ecological zoo geography, historical zoo geography, phonistic zoo geography, chronological zoo geography, descriptive casual, experimental, systemic, applied, and biocoinotic zoo geography. Our first and foremost branch of zoo geography is ecological zoo geography. As the name shows, eco means environment, and logia means study. So, environmental interactions with the animals study in this branch of biology, which is called ecological zoogeography. It investigates the role of phytic and abiotic interactions in influencing animal distributions. Simply, the relationship between the animal and environment is called ecological zoogeography. animal and its environment interactions is called ecological zoo geography their biotic means air water land plants and abiotic interactions because animals survive in that way that they have some interaction their relationship with their environment so the all interactions and relationships with the no living and living things which are present in the environment in which the organism live all are discussed about in this branch of biology which is called the ecological zoo geography next our branch is historical zoo geography historical means some history this branch of zoo geography is concerned with the historical reconstruction of the origin and extinction of taxa means the past and present difference between the past and present what is the structure 
of the animal in the past and what changes are occur in the present. It aims to understand the past distribution of animals. Tell that to the present day pattern. Means animal past pattern and their present, their physiological functioning, uh, which organs are extinct, remnant organs, and which are evolved to bring changes for their survival. All are discussed in a in this branch, which is called the historical zoo geography. <clears throat> Next, the phonistic zoo geography. Phonistic. Fauna means animal. Phonistic is a story of fauna of Central Sri area. Baseline phonistic. Data include records of species in a given area tribes when they are present and habitat associations. The data are more important. For identifying areas that harbor unique assemblage and monitoring changes in ecosystem over time. Now, the records of animal means how many families or species of animals are live in the certain area in a specific area. How many animals are present? Their records, their data, their history. All are recorded in this phonistic geography. Simply as we do in human system, census system. A uh, census system, the records of humans in which area, uh, how many houses are present, how many people are live in that houses, and their records, their members. Uh, so, so simply phonistic is called census of animals. They record their mammals, their species and family. All are discussed in this branch which is called the phonistic zoo geography. Next is chronologic zoo geography. The word chronology from Greek, chronos, space and logia study. The study of special distribution of organism. Means space distribution. Different animals live in the different space. Some live different continents like Asia, America, Australia, Antarctica. Their habitats are according to that environment. So they live to survive. They choose their environment. So these are called special distribution according to their space survival. They choose the suitable space. So this is all our stories in this branch which is called chronologic zoo geography. Next is descriptive zoo geography. Descriptive means describe in detail. <coughs> it reflects information on the historical and current ecological physiology and genetics of organism. <coughs> means their history, their current present, their past, physiology, their functioning, and genetics of organisms. Physiology, their functioning. What their functions in the past and present, how many changes are occur in their functioning for survival and genetics of organisms. In detail study, their forefathers, their ancestral studies, their evolution history. All are discussed in the descriptive zoo geography. Now, the Cahill zoo geography. In Cahill zoo geography, we see the causes that are or have been operative to bring about the type of animal distributaries actually found in the present days. Means how many changes an animal bring to survive, bring changes. To adapt into a new environment according to the present days within with the changes of environment they change itself for survival so Kaggle's geography discuss about the operative to bring about the type of animal distributaries actually found in present day now the experimental geography experimental shows that some experiment to do for the Record for the result experiment proof the zoo geography. It describes the experimental procedures that have been used for the study of ecological aspects, evolution, and means of dispersal. 
mean experimentally proved uh like carbon dating we all know about the carbon dating it was about the fossils records experimentally proved the age of the animal the area in which they live the age of the area all are experimentally proved their ecological aspects according to means of dispersal from where the animal is migrate from that place or immigrate experimentally experimentally proof for paleontology the fossils record a uh, fossil history their past and present uh, animals uh, experimentally proof uh, these are called experimental zoogeography next is systemic zoogeography it is a biological survey geography distribution of animals especially the causes and effect of such distribution now an animal living environment come from uh, another environment environment they have some causes some causes uh, that insist him to migrate in some other areas and effects of such distribution now an animal live so environment have some effects on the animal and as well as animal have effect on environment both have effect on each other so these all are strange this is strange zoo geography now the applied zoo geography applied zoo geography tells with the geographical distribution of both past and present of the animals past and present applied zoo geography deals with the geographical distribution of both past and present of the animals applications includes now we discuss the applications of the applied zoo geography their aims first of all conservation management economic production environmental assessment sustainable use of resources landscape planning public health conservation management conserve to conserve the animal from extinction to protect from the extinction economy production which a part they pay the economy for the country and animal have the benefits or harmful environmental assessment sustainable use of resources landscape planning landscape planning means the animal provide some area in which they live freely for their survival they freely and happily survive in that space and roaming about here and there and all are in this landscape planning public health then public health now biokinetic zoo geography bio mean life in comic together and name shows that biokinetic zoo geography means the animals different species interactions with each other so that bio mean life and coming together so interactions of animals with each other in ecological zoo geography we discuss that the interactions of animal with their environment but in biokinetic zoo geography we deals the life together means animals interactions with each other are really in the biokinetic zoo geography this project describes all the interacting organisms living together in a specific habitat a geographical area which is limited by the requirements of more or less association of living creation in a certain area means interactions between the animals and type of interactions for some work or some labor work or some reproduction mating any type of interaction because an animal can't survive single there need some reproduction to reproduce them to uh, generate their next generation so they interrelate for some a uh, collection of food some another because in an area different species of animals live and different families live like birds mammals um, and that uh, all are live in the uh, some space they have interaction with each other or same species of the animal same animals also have the interactions with each other for many purposes so this all are discussed in the biokinetic geography and biotic community biological community and ecological community are more common synonyms of biosynthesis 
all of which represents the same concepts. All these party community, biological community, and ecological community are like the bioquinotic zoogeography. Hope so you understand my presentation, what I want to convey you. Uh, thank you so much. Alhafiz.